On this James the Bike Guy, we're taking a look at one of the most popular bikes on sale today, and also what you might choose if you were thinking, all I need is just a bike. We're taking a look at the 2021 Trek FX2. In this video, we'll go into who and what this bike is for, the three different frame styles you can get it in, as well as go over the parts and find out exactly what it weighs. So be sure to follow along, letting me know your thoughts down in the comment section below, and consider hitting that subscribe button. That way you can see more videos like this in the future. So the Trek FX series is one of the most popular bikes that Trek sells. Trek also being one of the largest bike brands out there, that means this bike is incredibly popular. It falls into the category of hybrid, in which case there's three more narrowing categories than that. So the FX series is what's considered a fitness or commuter style hybrid. That means it's gonna combine the position of a mountain bike, getting you into a pretty efficient position while still being reasonably upright. It's gonna have features like smoother tires, but still wide enough that it's super durable on rough roads. And then it's gonna have neat features like rack and fender mounts to be able to add your gear and connect the bike up so that it can do everything from riding with the family to commuting to work to even being a decent choice if you were trying to do your first sprint triathlon. Now Trek also makes a series called the Verve and the Verve series is more of a comfort hybrid. So it prioritizes a more upright position while having slightly larger tires to make it a little comfier out on the road, but it's certainly not gonna have the same performance intentions or be quite as apt as a commuter. And finally, Trek makes the dual sport style hybrid. And the dual sport is very much like the FX series, except for it adds a front suspension fork and knobbier tires so that when you take it off road, it's gonna have a bit more capability there. Now, jumping back to this FX2, the FX2 uses an alpha gold aluminum frame. So you've got nice looking welds, you've got shaped and butted tubing, as well as mostly internal cable routing. And the beauty with that is it gives a pretty sleek look. It also is gonna make it super easy to put on a car rack because you don't have cable sticking out. And when you're locking it up against, you know, a rack or something like that, there's less to get snagged. For 2021, all FX2s are running disc brakes. These are set up with hydraulic flat mount disc brakes with a 160 millimeter rotor front and rear. And what that really means is because this is a hydraulic brake, it's gonna be super low maintenance with these Tektro setups and it's gonna have plenty of braking performance. So if you wanted to add on child seat on the back or carry some extra gear doing a big hybrid ride out on vacation, you can totally do that. Now, the frame comes in three different varieties. It comes in a men's setup, a women's setup, and then a women's stagger frame. Now, the interesting thing to note is the men's version in either Alpine Blue or Matte Denister Black, it's gonna come in a size small to extra, extra large. So pretty sizable size range. And then the women's version is gonna come in an extra small to large. Now, in thinking about the men's and women's frame of the standard diamond shape, the small, medium, and the large of both men's and women's are the exact same fit. So really it's sharing those sizes, but adding an extra small in the women's setup, and then in the men's setup, it's adding an extra large and a double extra large. Now, that changes a bit when we talk about the stagger frame. So the stagger frame is a little bit lower step, easier to get on if you have limited mobility, and it's gonna come in a size small, medium, and large. Now the sizing on that bike, the small slots in between the women's extra small and small, the medium slots in in the middle of the small and medium, and the large in that stagger frame slots in between the traditional, medium, and large. So that means if you're debating between the men's and the women's in the standard diamond frame, it really doesn't make a difference because it's mostly a color choice between the two. But the women's stagger frame gives you a little bit shorter reach and a little bit higher handlebar height. So it might be the more comfortable option with more limited mobility. Now getting into the parts on the bike, these bikes are gonna be set up with a three by eight drivetrain. So we've got a Shimano 
Acer rear derailleur. It's gonna have an 11 to 32 tooth cassette on the back. And then up front, we're gonna have a three by crank set with these satellite flat pedals. What that drivetrain really is showing is that it's got a very low gear to be able to climb up hills, but it's still with that triple up front and the 11 tooth cog in the back, it's still gonna have plenty of capability of going fast. And that's you know really key on a bike that's all about versatility, is you want that wider gear range since you don't know exactly where the bike's gonna be going. Now, the wheel set is the Bontrager connection wheels. This is a pretty standard wheel, but plenty durable. And then you're gonna be set up with the Bontrager H2 comp tires. These tires are in a 700 by 35 C. You've got some additional room for both fender as well as mud clearance if the bike ends up off road. And this tire is gonna be on the more durable side of the spectrum. Not quite as fast rolling as of course what you'd get on a road bike or a gravel bike but it's gonna be super rugged for the vacations and commuting. For a cockpit, I love to see that this is all aluminum. So you've got Bontrager's 31.8 approved handlebar. You're then gonna have an alloy blender stem. The blender stem allows the connection of a light, a GoPro, your smartphone, all sorts of things can be mounted right in with different adapters going into the center of the stem. And then the saddle on the bike, this is gonna be a place that changes between the men's and the women's. Both are gonna get the Bontrager Sport saddle. The women's bike comes with the women's variant of the saddle, which is a slightly different shape. And then the men's bike comes with the more unisex style. And to round out the features of this bike, a couple more things to mention. I talked about rack mounts and fender mounts. Well, this will have fender mounts and a small rack mount for the small side panniers if you wanted to. It's gonna be through skew quick release, which what that is is basically it uses the skewer almost like a through axle, which makes taking the wheel on and off easier because you don't have to worry about centering the caliper. And then in the back, you're gonna have rack mounts, you're gonna have fender mounts, and then I really like that you have a wheel lock mount as well, so nice quick lock either to uh, help secure the rear wheel or just keep it from rolling away on vacation. And then you're gonna have a location for a duo trap sensor, which is a Bluetooth sensor you can get added to the bike to be able to track speed and cadence, how fast you're pedaling. And finally, I really like the fact that this comes set up where you can add an optional rear mount integrated kickstand, which is a nice clean look, mounts up without marring the paint and is a nice thing. So overall, this is a pretty sweet bike and I can see why this is one of the best selling bikes in the US as well as one of the best selling hybrids. So now that we've taken a look at all the features and designs of the bike, let's find out what this bike weighs. The actual weight of the Trek FX2 comes in and weighs 25.55 pounds. Well, thanks for watching this video on the 2021 Trek FX2. I hope you had a good time learning about this Trek FX2, and I hope you've left any questions you have down in the comment section below. I look forward to seeing what uh, you guys are thinking and uh, where you think this bike is served best. So thanks so much for watching. Be sure you leave a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. That way you can see more videos like this in the future.